north side of Chicago, Rogers Park area. This is well, you also have uh, inner city trains in Chicago. You have uh, <clears throat> you have uh, the blue line, the red line, orange line, which goes to Midway Airport. Blue line goes to O'Hare Airport. Uh, brown line goes to downtown in North Chicago. Uh, yellow line just goes to Skokie, very short line. Uh, and I think there's a pink line. I'm not sure where that one goes. Yeah, I think the pink line goes like Southwest Chicago or something like that. And there's a purple line. It just goes a short distance north of to the very northern suburbs of Chicago. Of course, the red line that goes like north and south Chicago <clears throat> through downtown. And, uh, yeah, a lot of trains, but they need even more. <laughs> a lot of people don't really ride the, uh, the metros in Chicago. Like, there's some people that would drive 30 miles one way to work. Why would you do that when you could take the metro? You know? <coughs> you don't have to sit in traffic. The metro will never get stuck in traffic. So. Electric company there. A lot of the uh, buildings are made of brick, old school type style. Stand up to the weather. In the south, a lot of the buildings are made of like wood or drywall or whatever that material is it's not wood it's not brick it's that other stuff that you know if you had some high winds it would come through and blow it down I don't know what it's called but they make their houses of different stuff in the north versus the south A lot more concrete type stuff up in Chi-Town. A lot more bricks and cement and fences, cages. And, you know what I'm saying? Versus like Miami, you got a lot more like open space. A lot of the stations in Chicago, man, like, you feel like you're in a jail or in a prison or something. They're really, like, caged up, fenced up. They got guard dogs and stuff. Because it's a lot bigger city and a lot more crazy things happening, I guess. But, uh... Their transit is really cool, man. You can go a long way on these metro trains, you know. I think a monthly pass is like 150 bucks or something. So it's expensive, but for the weekend, eight dollars, unlimited rides. That's pretty, pretty good deal.